Today is January 21st, the 53rd presidential inaugural is history with Bill Clinton now into his second term. The inaugural balls wrapped up just before dawn. Now what's on tap? A look this morning at the business issues for the president's second term. And this morning a new airfare war was on the horizon with TWA firing the first shots. First Business, America's business news and information leader, is brought to you by Mass Mutual, the blue chip company, and by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Now, here's Barton Eckert. And a good Tuesday morning to you, calling for unity and a land of new promise. President Bill Clinton has begun his second term in office. First Business Correspondent Trish Machane takes us from the official presidential oath to the inaugural pageantry. I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear. I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. With his hand on the family Bible and First Lady Hillary Rodham Clinton and daughter Chelsea by his side, Clinton was sworn in as the last U.S. President of the 20th century. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Good luck. Clinton is only the 12th president of the 41 to be sworn in for a second term. In his 22-minute address, Clinton claimed a new course for a new century. Today we can declare government is not the problem and government is not the solution. We, the American people, we are the solution. The preeminent mission of our new government is to give all Americans an opportunity, not a guarantee, but a real opportunity to build better lives. Clinton called racism America's constant curse and said immigrants are targets to old persecutions. First family took the traditional presidential escort to the White House. Hundreds of thousands waved flags as the presidential motorcade drove past. <laughs> Parade goers not only came from cities all across the nation, many even traveled from other countries to witness the 53rd presidential inaugural parade. But all had one goal in mind. Northern Ontario, and I come every inauguration. You couldn't get down by the Capitol to see the actual inauguration, but just to be a part of it is really exciting. I want to see this before the year 2000. This is my last presidential thing. First one I've ever been to. I like to see the president walk down and watch the marching bands. We came down to see President Clinton and learn some history. I love President Clinton! Vendors selling souvenirs were sporting big smiles as people eagerly snatched up a piece of inaugural history in the form of t-shirts, buttons, and hats. Customers have been pretty good today, pretty busy as everybody comes out here. Buttons are a big seller. We've been selling a lot of blankets. The uh, Socks the Cat button is one of the biggest sellers so far today. It looks like uh, the t-shirts are winning out and the baseball caps are pretty popular too. The cold and hungry parade spectators proved to be a big bonus for businesses along the Pennsylvania Avenue parade route. It's been incredible for business. We have been so busy. Um, we've done over 500 covers for lunch inside and we had an outdoor patio that we served there to go food and that has been non-stop since about 8 o'clock this morning. It has been booming. I mean, we opened up right away to a 45 minute wait. Then from there, we've been on like an hour and a half wait from then on. Then it kind of died down when the parade started. And then when the president went by, after that, it came right back up again. Trish McShane, First Business. There were more than a dozen inaugural balls last night. We'll have details on the inaugural night out coming up a bit later on First Business. Business news this morning, Ryder System, the truck rental company, is cutting.